Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And in this video, we are going to be discussing how to get a mythic free to play as a lower level. Now, I will be making another video um, for people who are a little bit high level. So, when I say high level, I really mean like 350 to 400 and above. Um, so where you are on a team that gives the 1.2k uh, team achievement bonus every single event because that alone is like half a branch right there. So people who are a little bit more stable in the game and have the ability to be on a Sapphire team or a really high platinum or even diamond team, um, it is way different to get a mythic or even two mythics free to play than it is for someone who is new to the game. So this video, we are going to be primarily looking at levels pretty much zero to you know just starting the game to around level 150 to 200. Um, I have seen level 200s get you know, the mythic free to play. I've seen very few level 100, so just keep that in mind. So as a lower level, um, the main point of this video is to discuss how to set yourself up to succeed later on because unfortunately if you're just starting the game getting a mythic free to play is probably not going to be a very valid option for you um, mostly because for one mythics are freaking expensive um, and two you haven't been in game long enough to be able to score well enough in events to get enough sigils every single event from the prizes as well as you won't be in a high enough league to get you know decent rewards every single event so that is kind of what we're going to discuss in this video. The main thing, okay, when we're looking at, you know, how to set yourself up for success is knowing the setup of the season. And by the way, um, I know The Grind just posted a video about this, so I'm going to link his video down below because he does an amazing job explaining it. Um, but I was also planning on doing it, and I procrastinated and waited, so yeah, I'm sorry. If you want to watch his video instead of mine, feel free to do that. I'll put the link down below. Um, but yeah, this is also just my take on it from two different standpoints. So the biggest thing is knowing the setup of the of the season, right? So we got the first wave um, week one, which was Marav, Lazak, Muertuk, or Muertuk, whatever you want to say, the rider, and then the base boost. The base boost and Marav, right? were half priced. Those half price branches are critical. Um, if you are a free to play player, those things are is like heaven on earth. Um, that's liquid gold. So if you're planning on getting a mythic later on, um, because if you're, you know, again, if you've just started the game, don't be looking to get a mythic for the next two seasons. Um, I'd personally be saving up, building yourself up in the game. Um, and we'll talk about that more in just a minute. But again, Knowing how the season is set up is crucial. So the base boost and Mirav in this case, so the two um, half price branches. So you basically get 12 keys, 6 keys per branch, 12 keys for only 35-ish thousand sigils, which is typically only going to give you 6 keys. So in order to be able to get as far as you can on the both of the half price branches next season or two seasons from now, what you want to start doing is saving up chests. Now, as a new player, I would not save up golds or bronze. Um, until you are level 100, your main focus should be getting yourself up um, level-wise, breeding-wise, etc., right? Because if you start saving chests too early, you're not going to have the resources to continue to progress in the game fast enough to where you can start getting into higher tiers. And those higher tiers, getting on a team where they make the final team achievement every single event, that is half a branch right out the bat, right? That is a guaranteed half a branch of sigils that you are going to get every single season. So, obviously, that is a huge, huge bonus. Um, and that makes getting a Mythic free-to-play honestly quite simple at higher levels. But, if you're a lower level, that's when it gets tricky because you don't have that added bonus. You maybe only get 300 from the uh, team achievement because you only are able to get, let's say, to the, you know, this one, 4.5 thousand points from 30 members. But if you get all the way here, it's 1.2 thousand every single event, not to mention the ones you get from um, team achievements, or it's not team achievements, but team rewards. So if you're a lower level, 
Keep opening up chests until you get to around level 100. Then start saving. Um, as a free-to-play player, um, really get invested in Atlas. Atlas is going to help you get a bunch of timers. It's going to help you get a bunch of egg tokens. Uh, the rider missions is awesome. It helps boost your base. It helps get your dragons up. Um, getting involved in Atlas, definitely I would recommend. I'd watch um, as many videos as you can. I have videos on it. The Grind has videos. Taco has videos. Um, Skyline has videos. I know there's a couple Italian, uh, Miss Streamfire, and uh, Imperium. I'm not sure. Imperium, I think, mostly does gameplay. Uh, but anyways, you guys can check those out um, if you want tips and strategies and stuff like that. But get involved in Atlas and be sure to conserve your resources. Um, using resources efficiently is imperative, um, which basically boils down to using timers during fortification events only. Um, obviously, you know, there are exceptions to that. So let's say you need to uh, speed up a dragon, you know, obviously speed up a dragon to do well in breeding, but using mystic fragments and egg tokens during breeding events and using inner fires and energy packs efficiently, not wasting them on megas. If you are a free-to-play player and you are invested into the game, you know, you really need to be focused on making sure you are using your resources to the best of their abilities. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the way to get yourself prepped to get a mythic later on. Um, just continue growing in the game, setting yourself up so that two seasons from now, you may actually be able to get a mythic free to play once you hit level 200. I mean, two seasons is six months, right? Six months is quite a while. Um, I was level 200, I believe, after, uh, I think, nine months-ish. Uh, I was a level 200. I was a horrible level 200, but I was level 200. And uh, if I had the knowledge that I do now, um, and, you know, now we actually have these discounts, which is awesome, I think I would have been able to do it. And actually, I was on a Fire River, and we were, I think, Sapphire at the time. So, you know, I think it, it would have been possible. But anyways, that is how to start saving up the resources. And as just so you guys are aware, um, if you, let's say, two seasons from now, get both of the discounts, which, by the way, I've known a lot of free-to-play players who have saved up, um, sit, not sigils, uh, chess for two to three seasons they were able to get both discounts as a free-to-play player, as a level 200 to level 300. So it's doable. It's doable. And not only chess, but also make sure that you are saving up rubies. Rubies can be used on Super Sigil chess, and Super Sigil chess can be used on average to get 1,000 sigils per 10 drop. 10 chess equal 5,000 rubies, so let's say you have 35,000 um Sigils in order to complete a line are 36. You're looking at five times uh, 35, which is what, like 175, I believe? Something like that, 170, 175, if I'm doing my math correct. Um, so 175,000 rubies gets you a full line. So if you save your rubies over the course of two seasons, that should end up around 150,000, I believe. Um, that is assuming that you are getting close to the 450 sigil prize every event in your normal achievement, like in your normal prize achievement. So if you look, I'll just show you really quick. Um, if you go to here and you go to the point achievement, there is actually a 400. Okay, in this case, it was a 400. Um, but yeah, so if you get this, that's you know the rubies that you get before this should equal about to 150,000 if not more, um, because I had none at the start of this season, or, yeah, yeah, at the start of this season, I'm up to 50,000, so, you know, again, it's all about using your resources efficiently, being on a team that is growing, um, you know, if you're in Gold League, the rewards are not going to be the same than if you are in Platinum, so really, you know, not, I don't want to say pressuring, but really, like, getting yourself out there, getting better at the game, um, you know, showing teams that you can be, uh, you know, in a team that maybe you're a little bit small for, but you make up for it by being super duper active, by being smart with how you use your resources and being able to keep up even as a lower level. Um, and yeah, and just a, just a quick note, some lines are cheaper than others. So let's say that you have completed all three lines. Um, 
the a lot of people go after the mission boost branch which by the way if you are a lower level definitely go after the mission boost branch that will give you like what I think it's like 125 percent extra egg tokens so as a lower level definitely be grinding out those egg token missions um, I personally haven't for in a very very long time and that's a, that's a mistake that um, has probably cost me easily several hundred thousand egg tokens in the last year because I just don't do them anymore um, because in in from my perspective, it doesn't really help me in the short term, but I know long term, it, it does add up for quite a bit. But again, as a lower level, definitely make sure you are getting the mission bonus branch, even if you are a free-to-play player. Um, or sorry, especially if you're a free-to-play player. Once you have completed what you can in the half price, I'd say make this your first priority. If you are new to the game, this, mm, I want to say this and a dragon should be your first two priorities because this will help you progress pretty quickly. Um, 100 percent extra egg tokens is quite significant um, especially at lower tiers if you are doing your egg tokens religiously um, whenever they pop up I mean you can make quite a few egg tokens every single day in fact I may make a video on that later today um, that might make, make be a good video to do because it's been a while since I've I've actually done that but yeah so that is uh, just some random thoughts of mine on the topic. If you'd like to see a much better laid out video, feel free to check out, uh, not Skyline. Well, you can check out Skyline. I don't think he has a video on this, but the grind uh, on YouTube. I'll post the link down below in the description. But yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out, kind of get an idea. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.